Hello, welcome to a strategy video. We're gonna do over 3.5 goals today. I know this is a really popular market for people to trade on Betfair. We're gonna show you a strategy, give you an idea of how you can go about finding some value on the over 3.5 goals market, and we're gonna have a lot of fun doing that. Um, if you want, we've got a free gift. If you want some free training, just say the word in the comments, super trader and I will get that over to you and we can start to train you in Betfair trading. But we've done it all, let's go straight into the video now and I'm gonna switch over to my screen so that we can actually look at how to set up the filter. Okay, so we are now at the software page and we're gonna show you how to set up an over 3.5 goals filter. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you're thinking about a strategy like this is think, how can I find value? Okay, because value is absolutely the key with Betfair trading. So the strategy I create today is going to be based around that. Um, and then we're going to go from there. So we're going to go to create new filter, create new strategy. And we're going to select overall. And the first thing we're going to go for here is percentage. And we're going to look for over 3.5 goals. Okay, so full time over 3.5 goals. Click that, then click out of the box. And we're gonna select operator greater than or equal to. Now here's where we need to decide which percentage to use. So when you're coming and approaching a market like over 3.5, over 2.5, think about how often teams have over 3.5 goals and how often that frequency is high, okay? That's a good starting point. I often like to think, well, what's quite a high percentage? So for example, I know that over 2.5 goals, if you're getting an average of 70% of your games are over 2.5 goals, that's a high percentage. Even 65%, somewhere around those lines is what I'd use for over 2.5. However, over 3.5 goals isn't gonna happen as frequently as over 2.5 goals, purely because, well, with 2.5 goals, you only need one goal less for the trade to win. So what we're gonna look at here is looking for a slightly lower percentage. Um, and we're gonna play this a little bit by ear. And this is how you can create a strategy, is to kind of work with a stat and then maybe change it if you need to. So I'm actually gonna start this at 40%, because 40% is quite a high percentage for over 3.5. Now this might be too high. Um, if it doesn't throw up any selections, I will probably edit the filter, but that's okay. I know if we do that, I can show you how to do that anyway. So we've got our first little stat, so we're going to add that. Okay, very easy. We're going to look for games where the teams have on average 40% over 3.5 goals. What's the second criteria going to be? Well, it's really important, I think, that you need to be able to have a criteria that produces value for you. Okay, so at the moment, we're just looking for games that are over 40% over 3.5 goals. That doesn't really tell us if the odds are good value. So we're going to go for an odd stat here, and we're going to select subject, and we're going to bet fair, and then odds, and then we pick over under 3.5. We're obviously going to pick over for this strategy. And now we need odds greater than 2.5, okay, as our kind of minimum. Um, and I'll show you why now. So if we go to Ace Odds, we're on their odds converter. We're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna get to two point, odds of 2.5. And you will see that 40% in terms of odds is 2.5. So if the minimum odds we're getting is 2.5, and we think this outcome happens 40% of the time, then in theory, we should break even. The odds of 2.5 are correct. They are the right odds. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go a little bit higher on this, and I'm gonna look for odds of 2.75 plus. So going back to the filter, we are simply gonna select operator here and go greater than, equal to, and we're going to want odds of 2. Point. Let's just do 2.7 actually, because that's a nice round number there. Okay, so we'll add that. Now we've got two criteria. They do compare against each other, and they're going to try and find us value selections. Now I'm not going to change anything here in the um, drop down menus, but you can select leagues and, and do all that jazz. I'm going to restrict to current season, 
I'm going to leave Restrictor going in play, but if you do want to just trade these selections, you'll want to click this box here. I'm going to exclude playoffs. And I'm going to add a final stat subject, which is going to be overall total. And I add this to all my filters. Matches played. And I'm going to go for greater than or equal to 8. OK. And we're going to add that. Now the reason for this is that we're going to have at least the teams will have at least played four home and away games that season. So we're not going to get matches where, oh look, they've had over 3.5 goals 100% of the time. Yeah, because they've played one match. I mean, we're not going to use that data um, for analysis. Now we're going to give this a name. So let's just call it over 3.5 goals. And we're just going to click save to save the filter. And it has brought us up a couple of selections. So that's cool. So obviously this filter, you know, this is a Tuesday. There's not a Wednesday, sorry. There's not a lot of matches on today because there's Europa League and, and a lot of cup games, kind of a midweek thing. So I think this will actually have quite a few selections over the course of a week, especially as you get towards the weekend, which is cool. So... Now we've got a couple of games that have popped up on the filter. But what do you do next, right? You've got a filter, you're potentially looking for some games where there could be some value in over 3.5 goals. Well, next I want to dive a little bit deeper. I want to have a little look at some of the stats and see, is there an entry point that would be better for me? You know, and that's just a nice thing. When you've got one or two selections like this, especially where you've got, say you just want to trade during the day today and you might trade this rather than a set and forget bet, you go, well, I'm only going to be awake at 6 p.m. when the Swedish game's on between Sirius and AIK. Okay, cool. Now, the filter's telling us that 45% of the time these teams have over 3.5 goals, but the odds are 3.8, which is huge, right? We know that the odds should be around 2.5, so in theory, we should be getting good value here. Now, that isn't the whole story. It doesn't mean that, oh, this match is definitely going to have over 3.5 goals or anything like that. What it does suggest is that it could be a value selection. So what's interesting then, I find, is to delve a little bit deeper into the match itself. And to do this, the first thing we're going to look at here is halftime scores. Now, the match is selected up here, as you can see at the top, and... You can see five, let's do in percentages, 25% of the games are nil nil at half time, 15 are one nil and 20 are nil one. Okay. So actually that's what 40, 60% of the games are under 1.5 goals in the first half. That's interesting. So what that's telling us is that there are a lot of goals in the second half. And, and this should bear out when we actually look at full time scores and we see how different those percentages are. And as you can see, suddenly, lots of these percentages are obviously higher because 40% of the games actually do end with four goals. Um, so that's quite interesting to note. Now, from a trading perspective, what could you do here? Let's have a look at goal times because this is where it gets really interesting for me. And you can see when the goals come. And actually, you can see it's pretty split, right? 0 to 10, 6%, 11 to 20, 10, 21 to 37, et cetera, et cetera, 18. You can see that, oh, actually, there's quite a lot of goals at all points of this game. There's not really a long period where you go, oh, I don't want to trade goals there. Um, now, 42% of the goals come in the first half, 58 in the second half. This might be one where if it's 1-0 at half time, you might go, oh, I'm now I want to back over 3.5 because I'm going to get huge odds, maybe. Um, but I think, you know, in theory, this could work from the start. Now, what's important here, and the final thing I'm going to talk about is you want to test this strategy, okay? So this strategy, now I've just literally created it this second. I've not tested it. I've not seen whether it works. I've not seen whether the games work. The next step would be to export the data like so. As you can see, it's downloaded as a CSV file, and then you would input that into a spreadsheet. We've got example spreadsheets on the forum, so if you remember, just hit me up and I'll send you that. Um, and yeah, basically, it's it's that simple. You put that in, you have a look at the data. Does it work? Does it not? What you'll often find is that you might find strategies that work and some that don't. 
and then you go, okay, I want to see, is there anything else within the strategy that works? And often you'll find that there is. So one thing that I've noticed is that often you'll be testing a strategy, say for over 2.5 goals, and then you'll look at it and go, wow, this actually has a really good over 3.5 goal strike rate. I might look at that as an angle instead. Um, you also will notice odds ranges that work specifically well, what things that work better with leagues and things like that. So there's a lot you can look at when you test. So it is really important that you do go and test these strategies um, as you see them here today. But that's how to create a very basic value um, orientated filter for over 3.5 goals to give you a Betfair trading strategy starting point. Like I say, the other stuff is important on top of that, going and testing it, having a look at the match research, seeing the team news, for example, are the, are the normal players playing, etc., etc. Is it too late in the season? I know that obviously the Swedish leagues are quite deep into it. Maybe that'll have an impact. Those are all things you'll want to consider. Um, but again, the easiest way to kind of analyze whether this works is just to test it on paper, literally put it on a spreadsheet and start to look at it. And then you will see whether it works or not. If you'd like a copy of this filter, maybe to start your own, maybe to look at tweaking it, maybe to even test it yourself, just say the word over 3.5 in the comments. And I will actually send that to you. Um, so you can use that. Again, if you're not a member, then say the word super trader and I will send you that free piece of training. We can get you kick started on your journey as a Betfair trader. I hope you've enjoyed this strategy video everyone. If you have please subscribe, please like, please comment. It really helps the channel and it helps us know that you like it and that you want more content like this in the future. And most importantly of all, I hope you make some money trading on Betfair.